Hi, welcome to Encore. My name is Corin, and today I'm going to show you how to melt your lipsticks from a tube such as this one and make it a little bit more organized, a little bit more compact, and it can easily go into your kits when you travel in a little pot, just like this one. So hang around, I'll show you how. Okay, before we start, I just wanted to go over some of the materials and some of the supplies that you're going to use in order to do this project. First of all, you're going to need your lipstick. You're going to need a small pot that you're going to transfer that to. Now, these are just jars that, uh, that they give out free at any cosmetic counters. They put their, um, their samples in these jars, so you can ask, um, you can ask a counter person for, for the sample jars and they'll give it to you for free. You can use a spoon to melt the lipstick but I prefer a measuring cup so if you have a stainless steel measuring cup this is um, a quarter of a cup it'll be uh, better and it's so much easier to clean up and one thing I like about this is it's got this little pore spout right here so that when the you know the lipstick melts it's easier to pour into the jar so I prefer that. I also have a knife that I use. This is just your regular fillet knife. You can also uh, use a paring knife and you just need it to cut the lipstick and scoop some of the lipstick from the tube out. Or you can also use a micro spatula if you own one like I do. And I highly recommend every makeup artist to own one of these in their kits because you can use this to scoop out foundation, any creams, um, any lipstick, and it makes your product a little bit more sanitary. And um, it's just such, it's, it's such a great tool to, to have in your kit. So go out and get one. Um, also, you're going to need some labels, and these are the circle dot labels. They're stickers. These are printable, or you can write on them and you're going to need this to label your jar later on when you finish and for cleanup I have Windex and this is such a great cleaning product because um, it actually cuts grease um, and that's very important and then of course your regular dishwashing soap which has grease fighting powers uh, some napkins and also, of course, alcohol. Alcohol is your best friend if you're a makeup artist. Um, we use this on anything and everything to sanitize everything. So that's very important. So pretty much that's all you're going to need as far as supplies and materials. And um, of course, as you can tell, I'm in my kitchen. And this is actually my stove. So you're going to need your stove as well to melt the product. So, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's begin. First off, sanitize the tools that you're going to use. Using your alcohol, just put a little bit of alcohol in a piece of t tissue or Kleenex or paper towel. And just wipe the spatula that you're going to use and the inside of the jar. you're going to put the new product to and let that air out okay same thing with the measuring cup that we're going to use to melt just wipe that inside and let it air out and alcohol usually dries pretty fast so it shouldn't take that long to accomplish this all right so there you go once it's all sanitized we can start our project so start with the lipstick all right, it's very important that you remember the name of the lipstick. Turn the stick to its fullest. All right, and what you're going to do is you're going to cut that part out and place it on to the measuring cup. You're left with the inside of the tube that still has the product and this is one thing I like about the spatula is because you can actually easily just scoop that out and 
put it into your measuring cup. See? So just keep scooping that out until there's still a lot in there. So just keep just keep scooping it out. <clears throat> well, most of it out, you know. It doesn't have to be like clean, 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 clean. So, and that's pretty good. I think I got most of that out. All right. We're going to keep the tube so that we can refer to the name again later when we make our label. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is fire up your stove at the very, very lowest heat. All right. I'm going to move the camera here a bit. As you can see, my fire is really, really low. All right. And the first thing you're going to do is just place the measuring cup on top of the heat, probably about two or three inches, until the lipstick starts softening. And you can just kind of shake it a little bit. As you can tell, it's softening up and it's starting to melt. And what I like doing is actually using my spatula to just kind of stir that a little bit. See, it's melting. And don't get it too close to the fire because you don't want the lipstick to boil or else it's going to change its color or if there's um, any effects in it. Um, such as glitters or metallics or anything like that you wanted to maintain those effects into your lipstick and you don't want the colors and the metals or the glitters to separate so just be patient and don't burn the lipstick or don't let it to um don't bring it to a boil all right so So while you're doing this, you can actually kind of like check inside to make sure that it's kind of like a, a nice liquidy consistency so that, you know, so that when it, it goes into the pot, it'll be nice and smooth and, and, and kind of silky looking. Okay. So it looks like we've got a nice melted lipstick in here. What I'm going to do is like we have our pot right here and I'm just going to pour that in to the pot. And just make sure that it only drips right in the center so that will give you a nice clean edge to the pot when it um, when it solidifies again so it doesn't look really messy all right so it should look like that and just set that down and let it cool and um, it should only take a few maybe a couple of minutes um, for that to solidify